Hi, this is Janelle McCarty, the owner of EncoreWebsites.com. And in the previous video, I showed you how to log into your WordPress dashboard or your admin panel, so it's that. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is this dashboard, like how to navigate around it, what are all these buttons and features, what are the main ones that you need to know and focus on to get your website complete. So let's dive right into this video and get started. All right, so we are in the WordPress dashboard and we're gonna dive into setting it up and just showing you around the important parts of the dashboard that you're gonna need to know in order to properly set up your pages. So let's get started with this wizard. This is the first thing you're gonna see. Um, so get started quickly with WordPress. We're gonna start the wizard. It's going to ask you the type of website you're trying to produce. So is it a website and a blog? Is it only a blog? Or is it an online store? Are you selling something? Um, you could pick either or. It's still going to look the same on the back end. But um, this is just letting them know what type of templates or designs you want to use for this website. So I'm going to click website and blog. Industry. So what industry are you in? Um, are you in business, education, all that? So I am into education. Title, Janelle McClarty, that's fine. Tagline, that's fine. All these things can be changed later on. Press continue. I want to add my contact under social media profiles to this website. So if you need a contact form or contact area, I would check this box. Then it gives you the places where you would put your contact information. So um, I'll just make something up for now, 416. And the fax number, I'll make that up too. And an address, make that up. And then, if you have social medias, we select them so and then enter in the username. So I'm going to put my actual social media accounts um, Instagram, and that's it. There's no YouTube here. <laughs> All right, so. And as I said, this email is masked. You can put in any email address you want to right here. Um, this is the email address that has been used to create my GoDaddy account. So it's just masked, but that's the same email address that they're using here. So let's click continue. And now the theme. So for now, we're going to pick any one of these so that we can get to the dashboard, but we're going to really look at the themes in the next video. So. Let's just pick something right now just to get to the dashboard. I just picked any theme basically. I just want to show you the dashboard area so that you're more familiar with that. And then we'll dive into themes on the final video. So yeah, it says it takes up to 30 seconds. And yes, please don't press refresh or stop or back or anything like that. Just wait the 30 seconds. It's doing all the work to install all the theme components and set up the information that we just put in. So we'll just wait. All right, so here we are. This theme that we selected is set up. Here's the contact information that I put in. I definitely, I'm gonna have to change this email so it shows an actual email. So yeah, that's cool. So we're gonna go to the dashboard. So I'm gonna exit out of this. And it says dashboard right here. This is the actual WordPress dashboard. I'm gonna do an overview of this area. This is the area you're going to be using the most when you're going into make your pages and customize certain things and just install certain plugins and applications and things like that. So let me show you the basics. So this is just an at a glance area, like the main area of the dashboard. So it shows you how many posts you've had, comments, 
how many pages do you currently have in your site, any recent activity. So today at 5.45, a blog post title was made. Um, this is a dummy comment that comes with a template. You can have some notes, a notes area right here. And these are just any events and news from WordPress. So this is just at a glance. On this side, I'm going to show you the important areas. So the post area, this is for where all your blog posts go. If you are planning to have a blog, I'll open that up. Um, so your blogs would just go in chronological order from the time that you add them and publish them. So this is the post area. You have all posts you can view on this tab. You have the add new posts, which you can access here or here to add a new blog post. You have the categories section where you can categorize your blog posts. So imagine I have a blog on websites, website design. So I have a category called WordPress websites. I have another ca category, category called Shopify, another category called Wix, another category called Squarespace. So any blog I make that's about a website, if it's about WordPress, I would just link it to that category, right? So you can see everything that I've made about WordPress, right? So that's the category section. Tag section is pretty much the same. You can tag more specifically. So let's say I have a tag called tutorials. So I would tag everything that's a tutorial under a tutorial under the tutorials tag so that you can easily find it. Media, this is where all the images go. So you can upload new image files. This, These images came with the um, template that I just installed. So these are like dummy demo images. Um, you can definitely add new ones, upload them from your computer if you want to, Dropbox, all that. So. This is the media area. Then we have links. This is not that important. So I want to show you only the important things that you're actually going to use. So pages is highly important. This is where all your pages are going to be home page, about us, gallery page, contact us, FAQ page if you need one, services page. It's all in this area. You can delete pages, you can edit them from here, you can view how they look from here, you can add new pages from here. This is a very, very important area for you. Comments is not so important, but I'll tell you what it is. It's where all your comments go, where you can improve them, um, delete comments from your blog, um, add comments if you want to. So this is just a little area for the blog. Ninja Forms, this is where you would create forms. So if you need a contact form on your site, you can create that form here. So here's a sample contact form that was already made. If you need an estimates form, so a form for anything. So service form, anything basically. Um, so when someone fills out the form on your website, this is where the submissions go and there's settings and all that stuff. Ninja Forms is just one form builder. There's many different ones, but this is a really highly recommended one that came with this template. And it might come with yours as well. Um, I'll show you where to get this forms um, application if it didn't come with your template. It's going to be down here on the, at the end of the list. But we'll go in order. So appearance. Appearance, this is another highly important area. I would say it's like a top three area of importance when we're looking at this whole list. So this is where you get to fully customize certain things with your theme or change your theme, anything to do with the appearance. So let's go to the first tab, which is themes. It's going to show us all, this is our active theme that we're, we have right now. And these are a bunch of other themes that we have downloaded and you can actually add a new theme here so look at like all these other themes that we could add we can look for that's the featured area this is a popular area there's 4,000 popular templates that you can use so that's a lot um, the ones that were latest put out 7,000 of these a lot as well so I recommend using the filter area to see okay 
this the subject of my website is about photography maybe um, I want it to have a footer widget I want to have custom colors and a custom background I want it to have one column like you can apply all these templates I mean all these filters and it will show you lesser options than the thousands that fit your requirements right so yeah this is that themes area then we have the customize area all right so this is the area that allows you to customize your specific theme so every customization area is going to look like this but have slightly different areas right here or just sidebar options so on this particular theme it gives you an option to look at the site identity where you can add your logo change that site title that we were talking about in the tagline you can choose to display it or not display it right and then change your copyright area at the bottom and you can display certain things or not display them in this area right so that's the site identity the layout you can have a fixed layout which is like this or a fluid layout so this is just a feature that may or may not come with your template then we have the color section so you can change the color scheme you have the default you have bronze so it's just changing all the color schemes depending on what you want we have the header area, so we can change the color of just the header area, the tagline area. Um, yeah, just looking at the color scheme for the header area. The menu, so this is the menu area up here. We can change the background of that or the text color of that. Right now it's like a gray color. We can make that black if we want to, make it pop out a little bit more. Now the buttons, all the buttons are this color with white text. That's fine. Content, so this, this is like basically the color scheme for all the content, sub content, even right here. And the headings as well and the link text, like this is a color for the text that has links. You can change that to like red or orange or something more visible. And then the footer. So this all deals with customizing colors. Let's go back. And now we have fonts. So this whole section is about customizing fonts. It's not too difficult. Header media. So use featured image. So we can select what image we see here. It could be a video if we want to. Um, or we can enter a YouTube URL. So that's pretty cool background image we could change the entire background image for the entire site right here so we could change that menus so this is the menu again so we're not dealing with only the color in this area we're dealing with the actual pages that show up up here in the order of the pages so here they are we can switch them around put FAQ last right now it's here I just moved it to the end there. We could just rearrange things. We can remove things if we want to. So that's the menu area. Oops, I'm gonna cancel. I gotta go back, I'll go back again. And then we have the widgets area. So widgets is like um, different features that we can add. So footer one, it has like a social media widget. We can take that off and replace it with something else. All right. oh, and there are a bunch of other widgets that could be added. So this is a contact us widget. We can add a new widget here. So we can add a calendar if we want to, a gallery if we want to, some images, links. There's there's unlimited possibilities here. Even a video could be added, sort of some text. So yeah, we can add different widgets to different areas. But this is just for the footer area we're looking at. Um, we have home page settings. So do we want it to be just your home page look like just a static page, which it is now, or do you want it to look like a blog page? Let's do that. Okay, this is how it looks. So it'll show you the first blog and then the second blog, the third, it will just show you in blog format.
if I change that, but I'm going to put everything back. So it should be the home page should be the home page, the post page should be the blog page. That's the whole point of this area. Okay. Let's go back. And then additional CCS, that's for making customizations, which that is more of an advanced level thing that you do not need to know right now. I'm going to press publish so that it saves every little thing that I changed because I just want to. And then we're back. So we were in a sub menu right now. We were in like another dashboard for the actual theme. Now we're back to the dashboard for the entire WordPress platform again. Um, so we already went through all of these in that sub dashboard. So we went through the menus, the headers, the backgrounds, the theme editor, we went through all of that. Now we're going to look at plugins. So what is a plugin? A plugin is a software that has a group of features that can be installed onto your WordPress website to just make it perform better or do whatever type of feature you want it to do. So let's say you want a plugin that connects your, oh, let's look at these. So these are some examples of popular plugins. You can see by the ratings, this has 5 million active installations, 805, um, almost five star ratings. So this is an anti-spam plugin. So this plugin checks your comments and contact form submissions, and it basically protects you from spam and malicious content. So some people would download this plugin, they would activate it, install it, and it will just start working. It's like a little mini piece of software, a plugin. Then we have, let's see another plugin. There's so many, there's like thousands. Let's see the popular ones. Contact Form 7. So remember how we have Ninja Forms? There's another version, there's another plugin that can give you the same kind of features as Ninja Forms, but it's called Contact Forms. So you would install this plugin, um, activate it, and then you'll see Contact Forms and get to play around with it, put it on your contact page instead of using this one. You can see which one is better for you, which one has the better features for you, and all that. So this one has 5 million installations. So you have to see how the reviews are. So that one, all of these are like 5 million formula. That's really good. Um, yeah, so basically this is just an overview of the plugins area. In another video, like in a more advanced video, I would show you what specific plugins are recommended, you know? So went over that. We don't need to know a plugin area. We don't need to know users, tools. So basically I went over all of the highly important areas in the dashboard. Um, I will tell you the top three once again. Um, so number one is going to be pages because that's where you're going to add, edit, delete the pages that you're actually going to see on your website. Number two is going to be appearances. That's where you're going to customize and tweak certain things like color schemes, fonts, placement of things within your website. And the third most important part is plugins. So that's where you're going to add those additional features to make your website to the next level or elevate it. So that was a lengthy, <laughs> lengthy explanation of the dashboard, but it's well needed so that we can get into actually making the website now, now that you understand this area. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned about the WordPress dashboard and all the important features and functions. Um, if you didn't grasp all of that or you have any questions, feel free to press the link down below where you can set up a consultation with me, a one-on-one, -on -one, so we can go in detail and I can answer any questions that you have. Um, the next video, which is the final video in the series teaching you how to make a WordPress website, um, it's going to be setting up your pages and your menus. So just the finishing touches of setting up your home, about, services, contact, just the main pages that you would need for a WordPress site. So that's the final video. Let's get to it.